Do you ever regret leaving Nicaragua? That's the best move I made in my life. <laughs> my sister and my brother are still in Nicaragua. My mom, she was alive, still in Nicaragua. And I, whatever, I got a job, so I found, and I found a job and I have enough money, so I sent here whatever I could. It wasn't much, but that's all what I can afford, or whatever much, whatever money it was, there was a lot of help for them. Because Nicaragua, you know, is a very struggling country. How long did the war last? Oh, uh, God, there were two. One before the Sandinista, which was in the 70s, during the dictator. And later, with the Sandinista got in power, they get back. There was another civil war to take them down. So, 75 to to the 90. It was bad, and I had a good life compared to all my friends. You know, but, um, but it was bad. In my neighborhood, every week there was a dead body from the Civil War getting buried in my neighborhood. When, if I live in the corner, three, four blocks in each direction, there was a dead body every week. So and people, maybe I knew, maybe I knew just by face or just by knew by names. And because they went to the Civil War, they got killed and they, they, they got sent back to their house to get buried. Did you, um, did you have to pay a coyote? And I was supposed to, but I didn't pay because they left us, the five, six people that were with me. And the one who didn't lose anything because I didn't have any money and I was supposed to pay them when I got into, into, into California. And they were so upset. You God damn it! you don't have even send them, you pack it. <laughs> Hey, I told you I will pay you in, when I cross the border. And I don't have any money. But hey, um, they, they stole a lot of money from those other people. They stole the, whatever the, the fee to cross the border, which at the time was $500 or $600, and whatever money they have in their pocket. I got into Arizona first and, yeah. and stayed in Arizona for five weeks, well, uh, five months. Later, when, when I got into, uh, into California, into San Francisco, I was in shock, but you know what? I've been in a place like that too, which you know, be on my own. So I just get a bus, and and then so in the, at the airport and end up whatever the end of the bus station, which it was around around uh, Embarcadero. And later I start walking until nighttime came and it was so cold <laughs> because San Francisco is, is cold compared to whatever I grew up or whatever I was staying in Arizona, and. It was it was hard, so I have to improve myself. Just keep walking. So what I did, you know, find a place to sleep and get a lot of cardboard, a lot of paper because that's the best insulation you can get. That's the best uh, blanket I can find. Just papers and cardboard or whatever. And, and the next day, you know, I try to find a, lat a Latino place, and which I find out in the mission. And the mission become my neighborhood and my and my and my home. <laughs> that's uh, that's the best thing I uh, the best decision. No, no, I never regret it because I got a beautiful family. I got a beautiful daughters. I got a good business, and I think I'm living the American dream, and that's the truth.